Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally stopping to get all of the Easter decor taken down in my kitchen. I'm going to try to keep it very minimal but also add just some modern farmhouse simple spring decor to kind of give my kitchen a little refresh. So if you're like me and still have your Easter decor up, I'm hoping that this video will give you the motivation to stop and get it taken down and leave you with some simple neutral decorating ideas for your farmhouse kitchen. If you happen to be new today, I'm Robin and welcome to my channel. I am quite sure most of you guys out there have already taken down your Easter decor, but I try to leave mine up as long as I can. I do decorate for Easter in pretty neutral uh, colors. I don't use a lot of bright yellows or pinks or anything like that. So I feel like uh, when I decorate when I decorate for Easter that I can kind of leave mine up a little bit longer than other people because I do have such neutral decor uh, when it comes to Easter time. However, I am always sad to take down my Easter bunnies because it makes me so, so happy when Easter comes around and I get to put all of my Easter Bunny collection up. It's so, so fun. Okay, so again, I'm going to keep it very neutral today, guys. I'm not going to use a lot of color. I will be decorating for spring in a couple of weeks. That's so hard to believe. Uh, being a YouTuber, we're supposed to get a jump start on each season and decorate earlier so that we can kind of give you guys some ideas so that when you start buying your decor or decorating your house for the season, you already have a lot of ideas from all of us YouTubers. So we try to get an early start. So this will be um, a very simple video today with just some very simple neutral colors uh, in my kitchen so that, like I said, in a couple of weeks, I can brighten it up with a lot of summer colors. I'm hoping to use a little bit of lemons and some daisies this year for my summer decorating. So I'm very excited about that. I'll have a, um, let's see, a home decor haul. I believe that you'll see this video on Sunday. And then I should have a summer home decor haul for you guys on this coming. Wednesday and I'm so excited about some of the new summer items I picked up I didn't do a lot of new stuff for this past spring or this spring that season that we're in I guess you could say right now but I did pick up a quite a few things for this my summer haul so I'm very excited about that so here guys I really wanted to use another peg rack in my kitchen and I tried that little area that you just saw to the left of the sink and my little peg rack is just a little bit too long so I think I'm gonna end up putting it over here I always keep this cute little round wicker basket over here in this corner and I think adding a little peg rack there to hang stuff on is going to be extra cute I love the idea when people take their um, at the end of their bar or their um, island and they put a little rack there and they keep it decorated I can't do that because a chair goes at the end of my bar but I do love that look so I'm hoping to bring a little bit of extra uh, decorating to the, my backsplash here in the kitchen by using this peg rack this is just a simple spring um, tea towel that I picked up from Hobby Lobby in the spring collection last week. I love the little cilantro and the little herbs that's on there. I love the neutral color of it. So I'm just going to hang this here with a little um, sprig of greenery that you'll see here in a second. I'm going to leave it very simple here, but I'm very excited to have this peg rack here to really spruce it up for summer. Oh my goodness, guys, I really love the way this little area turned out. And listen, let me apologize real quickly for my crazy voice today. I've been fighting a cold and it's just about to get the best of me. So I'm trying really hard to get this voiceover done before my voice is just finally just gone. So please bear with me. Thank goodness this video is really short today, so it shouldn't take too much uh, to get this voiceover taken care of. Okay, so now we're going to work on this coffee bar. 
And like I said, I'm going to keep everything pretty neutral. I did pick up some gorgeous coffee mugs from TJ Maxx. I cannot wait to show you guys. They are absolutely beautiful. And I've got such some great ideas for my summer coffee bar. I cannot wait to show y'all all that I've picked up for that. I've got the cutest little daisy cups um, and just some really fun stuff for my summer coffee bar. But today, I'm going to try to keep it very simple and very neutral, but so, so cute. Okay, friends, and as you watch me decorate my coffee bar, let me just stop and just take a moment to share my heart with you guys about how thankful I am for each and every one of you for your support on my channel. If I could just hug each and every one of you out there that come back each and every week, watch my videos, um, leave sweet comments, support me. We hit 8,000 subscribers last week, and I am just over the moon about it. I promised you guys a giveaway when we hit 8,000 subscribers, so this is the video for you to enter into my giveaway. I'm going to be giving away two $50 Amazon gift cards to two lucky winners. I'm so excited about that. Y'all have just been so, so good to me that I thought it was only right to give out two cards this time instead of one. I'm going to try to do a live video. Let's see, you'll see this video on Sunday, uh, May, let's see, what is tomorrow going to be? Maybe May 2nd? Hang on, let me see. Oh goodness, this cold's got to me. Okay, tomorrow is April the 30th, and the next Sunday will be May the 7th. So next Sunday at 3 o'clock, I'll have a live video, and we will give away two gift cards. Very excited about that. And all you have to do, my friends, is leave me some type of comment in the comment section. I know I have a lot of silent watchers out there that do not, do, that do not like to comment, and I totally understand that. But you have to comment, though, in this video to be entered. So just say, hello, Robin, or just quickly say something, and I'll have you entered into the drawing. So, again, guys, I appreciate you all for all your support. I thoroughly enjoy this channel. God has been so good to me by blessing me with all of you great friends out there. And I've made some really great friends here on this channel, and I'm so, so thankful for it. Okay, now back to the breakfast, or back to the coffee bar, I guess I should say. These are these beautiful cups, guys, that I picked up at TJ Maxx, aren't they? beautiful oh my goodness um, I love the flower on the inside of them if you've been around for a while you know that I truly love a floral and these were gonna go so good with it with this lamp that I already have here the sugar bowl that I already have I think they're absolutely beautiful my coffee's gonna taste extra good in these beautiful coffee cups show you the time of your life I want to figure out what it takes to give you everything you desire I want to lay beneath the stars with you in the back of my truck I guess that this is what they call love I just cannot say enough good things about this coffee area. I absolutely love it. I meant to mention our little coffee bar sign, our little coffee, yeah, our little coffee bar sign came from Hobby Lobby also when I got um, those tea towels. I picked up that cute little sign. I think it's absolutely precious. I just, something about a dark wood, I just love it. And I'm going to finish off this kitchen area with my sweet little tea towel that says home, sweet home. This came in that care package that I've talked about a couple of times that my friend Robin sent me. She sent me the most precious items and this was the last thing I needed to add to my kitchen. And then I'm going to quickly wipe down the bar area. And just because my kitchen never feels complete without lighting a candle, we'll get a candle lit. And that'll be the last thing that we do here in our spring refresh here in the kitchen.
if this happens to be the first time you visited my channel, hello again, I'm Robin. I'm so, so happy that you're here. I sure hope you enjoyed my video enough that you would hit that red subscribe button. Maybe you'll leave me a comment, maybe where you're from, your name. I would love to hear from you. And also go over and follow me over on Instagram. My handle is at Robin Lane Low. That's a great way for us to get to know each other. Again, friends, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section so that you can be entered into my drawing. And guys, I'll see you next week. Bye.